So if I was starting my wardrobe from scratch, this is what I would start out with. So I have been planning and making this video for literally years, you guys. I've been wanting to make this video since I started this channel, but I wanted to recommend the best of the best basics, core essentials in your wardrobe. And I wanna make this video for those of you that are starting your wardrobe from scratch. So this took me years to build because I had so much trial and error and testing out different basics to find the best ones. So it obviously took a lot of time. And I will link everything in the description box according to the number that you see on the screen. So if you see something you really like or your wardrobe is missing, you can just write down the number that I'll have on the screen. And then when you look into the description box, it'll be a lot easier to find that specific item. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first category, we're just going to go over tops. So different types of basic tops and essentials. First thing I want to start out with are some basic crop tanks. So my favorite ones that I've purchased are from Abercrombie. I love these because they're affordable. They will last a good chunk of time. I mean, I wear these probably the most out of everything because I'm home a lot. I wear these on their own. I layer on them and they come in several colors and they also come in different necklines. So if you want a scoop neck like I have here, a V neck, a square neck, a high neckline like a cruise style they have so many to choose from and that's one of my tips when it comes to filling up your closet with basics is make sure you pick necklines that you love and you think that flatter you the best next up are tank bodysuits so i love these when i want to have a really good clean seamless tucked in top look so again you can wear these on their own you can layer on them they tuck in really easily and nicely because they're a bodysuit and the colors i recommend starting off with when you're looking for tops is just go with black and white so simple especially if you're working on a budget just black and white and if you have room in your budget for more colors uh the next one i would choose is probably a nude and then i would start knocking off some other basics after that and then next up i definitely recommend camis the ones that i found that are my favorite best quality fit really well are from actually banana republic and these are inexpensive i think they're around 20 dollars. you can often get them on sale they come in petite and regular and maybe tall as well come in several colors very good quality and i definitely recommend these because you can wear them for spring summer you can also transition them into the fall season and just layer them with like cardigans nice jackets and great piece to consider and then i have to recommend of course basic bodysuits long sleeves so Again, these are from Abercrombie and I, again, love these because you can have different necklines to choose from and as you can tell, I have it in black and in white. And it may seem a little bit boring and repetitive, but you'll notice you'll wear these so much and you'll be thankful that you just picked black and white because they literally go with everything. And again, like I mentioned, you could start off with black and white and then build off from there with more colors. And then a basic white t-shirt. So I made an entire video on which brand makes the best basic t-shirt. So if you wanna check out the video, I will link it up here if you wanna see some more basic t-shirt options. I love this fit and this is literally the only basic t-shirt that i pull out whenever i want to wear one because it has a slight boxy fit to it it's cropped the sleeve length is perfect it's not super tight and this material is also a little bit more sporty feeling and i love that so this is from lululemon and what i love about this one is how well it holds up i can't even tell you guys how many times i put it in the washer and the dryer it comes out looking brand new like you just picked it off from the store and it doesn't pill didn't like shrink or change its fit in any way it's honestly the best money i've spent on a basic t-shirt next top i recommend is a basic button up or down i'm not sure i hear some people say button down and then i hear some people say button up and then i see on website listings either say button up or button down but anyways a white button up i'm just gonna say button up and i specifically chose this silky one by lily silk this is actually inside out let me fix that <laughs> 
better. You can see that beautiful shine to it. So I chose this one specifically because the quality is incredible. I've had it for two years, held up very well. I love this one because it's the best fitting that I've found, especially with me being small everywhere and just having a fuller chest size. Button ups are a little bit more challenging for me to find. So this one works really well. And I also love the silk because it's temperature regulating. So it works through all of the seasons out of the entire year, which makes it incredibly versatile. Now, my favorite category, let's move on to sweaters. So of course I have to recommend a striped sweater. I've had many versions of a striped sweater and what I found that I personally really like is one with an open neckline uh, because the horizontal stripes can make us look a little bit wider and especially if you have a larger chest size like i do i love having that open neckline to break up the space so i love this one from mango and i'm a striped sweater striped shirt girl i love anything striped and i have lots of versions like this but i really like this one because the quality is great it's been holding up really well and it's well below 100 dollars. i think it's like around 60. now this is the part where i had a little bit of a hard time deciding because i love them so much so when it comes to just basic crew neck style sweaters. So that's the neckline I honestly just recommend for a basic sweater. I feel like you can't go wrong with it. It's so timeless and so classic. You can definitely go for an open neckline, but you'll notice that most sweaters like this come in a crew neck style, but I personally love it because it's just so timeless. And the colors I personally recommend is just go for black, uh, like a camel color, brown, beige, and then and like a lighter shade of beige or oatmeal nude color. Those are my top three favorites. Let's start out with them. So these are the three. They blend really well with all the other basics in my wardrobe. So I love this black one because it's in 100% organic cotton. It's very soft. This comes in so many colors. So if you like this fit, you can stock up in like two or three colors. This one's a lot chunkier and warmer as well. So this is great for fall and winter. Then this one is the Everlane Alpaca Sweater. And the reason why I'm recommending this is because of how lightweight it is. So it keeps you warm, but you don't get hot in it, which is amazing. So it keeps you warm. It's lightweight. The color is very classic and timeless. The crew neck style, the fit, again, is very classic and timeless. And the material is very durable, will last you forever. Just take very good care of it. Next up is a cashmere crew neck sweater. So I also recommend these because, again, so classic, simple, timeless. They look and feel and usually are very expensive. This one is from Quince. It, they sell this for under $100, which is amazing for a cashmere sweater. Most cashmere sweaters start at $100 and go well above that. And the quality is absolutely comparable, the same to other cashmere sweaters that I've purchased and tried out that were way above $100. And this comes in many colors. So as far as sweaters, these are the three that I recommend. I also wanted to share three different materials and a little bit different fits because I know everyone looks for different fits and materials when it comes to sweaters so but these are my favorite when it comes to a cashmere alpaca and a cotton crew neck sweater so you can pick a favorite maybe grab a couple colors in it and then you'll be set for a basic sweater and you can always add on more colors later on once you find the fit that you really like and then i had to recommend a cardigan this is something i've been wearing my entire life this is my favorite fit out of all the other ones I've tried. This one's also by Quince, affordable, 100% organic cotton, comes in many colors. I honestly just recommend go for the black because it goes with everything. You can wear it with leggings, you can wear it with jeans, lounging, wearing out, you can dress it up in a way, and it has nice chunky big pockets and the way it sits and drapes over you. It just looks so nice, looks and feels expensive. So this is my top recommendation if you're looking for a cardigan, a basic one to include into your wardrobe. Okay, now let's move on to outerwear. So the three that I recommend are a trench coat, a black and camel wool blended coat. So those are the three I've noticed I have been repeating and wearing for years and years and years. My favorite trench coat that I've tried, I've tried so many. I've even tried many and returned them and never shared them with you guys because they were just so bad. But it's this one by Banana Republic. The fit is incredible and 
it comes in petite which makes it even more better for my body type which is amazing so sleeve length fits really well the body of the coat fits really well the length is amazing and you can just tell that you know you get what you pay for in this case that the company really took the time to design this very very well and what i love about this trench coat is that it works for three seasons out of the year so you can wear it for springtime fall and you can even wear it for winter time then here are these two wool blended coats different fits you can pick a fit that you like and maybe just get one color in it or two so i have the abercrombie dad coat it's a wool blended coat in this camel color this one has a more tailored tailored structured fit to it. So I do love this one and it's around knee length. I love that Abercrombie has their coats in petite, which makes it so much easier finding a coat that fits really well. And then this black one is actually from Mango. It's a recent purchase. So I've had many variations in different types of long black coats. So if you're going to start somewhere, I recommend start out with a black wool blended coat go with a trench and then go ahead and add in a camel coat all right now let's move on to denim jeans so first let me just start off with what colors i recommend so i recommend dark light black and white washes i recommend those colors however pick a fit that you love and feel fabulous in the types of styles that i personally really like so the first one are the everlane 90s cheeky jean which is the medium wash that i'm wearing for this video and i have this in a medium and a light wash love them they have a little bit more of a straight leg fit to it and they're fitted like in the waist hips thighs taper out past the knee they come in three different inseams and i got them in a 26 and a half inch i still ended up cutting them like another couple inches because i'm pretty short so it needed the extra hemming the next one i recommend are levi's wedgie icon jeans these are pretty much almost a true skinny just super slightly tapered past the knee and i have these in like three different washes but here i'll share two so i have the black and the light wash and these i also cut because again i'm really short <laughs> so i needed that extra hemming so the light wash i recommend going up a size the black i recommend staying true to size one of the reasons why i love the black is because it's a little bit faded it's not like your true like jet black denim jeans it looks a little bit faded a little bit washed out so it kind of gives a more casual relaxed look to your outfit so that's why i really like these and then for a skinny jean i recommend the abercrombie ones I love these they're a true skinny jean very skinny all throughout the leg I personally love this style they're nice and high-waisted and I wish they made these in more colors because I would grab them in more colors just because of how flattery they are for a skinny jean and they come in three different inseams maybe even four and then the white jeans I almost forgot to mention these are Levi's 501 like straight crop jeans I really love having like an off-white style of a jean not like a super stark white which is still really pretty but I do love the like off-white color for a denim jean because it looks a little bit just warmer more relaxed and it blends really well with lighter neutral colors as well so it's not like such a drastic difference in contrast since the jeans aren't so stark white love those for a white jean i would say out of all the ones that i've owned those are my favorite ones I wish they carried it in a skinny style because I do love a skinny jean. <laughs> now let's get into shoes. So of course I have to recommend white sneakers. So I've had many different white sneakers in the past. The Air Force ones are definitely my favorite because they have a more sporty look to them. I love the higher platform which makes it very petite friendly and flattering as well. And these hold up really well. I think I purchased these back in February so they've held up really well. I wash them. I do take good care of them. And then I also recommend a pair of flats so i would recommend start off with black these are so classic and so simple and i think these will work for any foot type whether you have narrow or wide feet and i love these because the quality is amazing and they're at an affordable price point so they come in multiple colors i think they have it they have it in this black and then they have some kind of like funky colors i personally would just go with the black because it's really simple and it literally goes with everything so this is something i would wear for spring and summer and then transitioning it into the fall season and then if you're looking for a dressier shoe i recommend starting off with a two-toned pump these have been well loved for around three years now 
and I'm thinking about updating these, upgrading them maybe to like a more nicer durable pair because of just how often I wear them. So I typically wear these for three seasons out of the year, so spring, summer, and fall as well. I love these because they really dress up a basic outfit or again they complement a dressy outfit they give such french girl parisian vibes i know this isn't everybody's style so feel free to find a different heel or pump that you really like and reflects your style but this is what reflects my style very french parisian i love it now the last two shoes that i recommend for fall and winter that are such a go-to that you can start off with and then you can build with other things that you like so a classic black chelsea boot and a sock booty for something dressy. So we got it in black. That's just what I recommend for shoes. Just stick to black, maybe beige, white sneakers. You'll notice those will go with everything and it's so much easier to style them as well. So keep in mind of color and same thing, consider casual and dressy. So this is what I recommend for casual and dressy. And they're both very high quality, very durable. I splurged on these Mark Fisher sock booties, I believe last year. They look fantastic. Like they hold up so well. My most worn like dressy ankle boot. These are a newer purchase, but they have been holding up really well. I've again, I've had different versions of this Chelsea boot. I've had cheaper ones. And then this is my kind of more expensive pair. I got these during a sale. So it wasn't like I spent so much money on them, but they are holding up very well. I also just love how just classic and simple and timeless the style is. Okay, you guys, I don't know if you could tell I'm losing my voice. I've been talking so much and this video is probably very long So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking through it I really hope this video helped anyone that is restarting their wardrobe trying to have a fresh start that This is a helpful video for you on just where to start where to begin. Anyways, I am done rambling on Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember everything that I shared is linked in the description box down below according to the number that you saw on the screen today let me know if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in my next video bye